Jonathan Capapion here. I'm going to show you how I set up my uh, pencil page for blue line to be inked. So, first you get the page. Uh, this page is Batman number one, Greg Capullo. Uh, this is set up grayscale. So, what you want to do is you want to convert to RGB and from here if you're on a Mac it's command U and <clears throat> I have my uh, blue lines uh, colorized settings already set up and saved so it's in my list here and it's converted it and if you guys want to if you don't have these numbers, you know, you can just grab them from here and you can go here and you can save it as a preset. So every time you have that saved, share them with a friend, whatever. All right, so from there you hit OK. And then <clears throat> from here, you can just go straight to print. Uh, I usually make sure that my, my page size is actually, um, my canvas is actually 11 by 17. Um, it's just what I prefer to do. In this case, it's not. So I'll go ahead and 11 by 17. This hit proceed, it's fine. And so from here, you can print from here or you can uh, mark out your borders directly in Photoshop um, and that's what I prefer to do it's just it's once it's printed it's ready to go you're ready to just sit down and work you don't have to worry about you know doing your panels and all that kind of stuff you're just ready to go um, the way I do it is I just pull up another layer I prefer the line tool for me it's just a little bit quicker um, for my outer borders my file sizes are uh, 600 dpi is what my the, the pages are scanned at and you saw this, they were 11 by 17 so 20 pixels works for my outer borders and then for my panels I it's kind of what you prefer um, I, I've been noticing that I, I prefer um, 14 pixels works fine it's not too uh, it's not too thick it's not too thin and here when I do these I'm just holding down the shift key and then dragging the mouse over and it's it'll give you a straight line um, and you just kind of lined it up if you if you go over or whatever you can go ahead and erase it out because it's on its own layer you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I, don't, I don't erase anything. I keep my uh, page title information up there. Just I, I just print it exactly like if it, if I were to print this art uh, directly on DC board, which I do. I just print it on the reverse side, so I just keep all this information. It's what people are used to seeing when they buy art, so uh, I don't do anything different with it. I just print it out. Um, so if your if your file size was not 600 dpi and say it was 4 or 300 then this pixel width for your line weight for your borders would probably be different you, you might bump down to like a 7 for these um, it just depend, it depends on your file size um, so from there what I do next is I just unlock that layer. And this is kind of the important part is I don't what you see on your screen um, will print much darker on the board. Um, so I bump this all the way down to 45 percent and from there you can you can print it just like it is. It's just uh, you know with a transparent background whatever or you can 
flatten it. Either way, it's going to print with the white background. Um, and I'll usually go ahead and I'll sharpen more, just so that sharpen it up a little bit. It tends to help. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so from here, I would just go to print. Um, and when I when I print, I make sure I'm using Photoshop, allowing Photoshop to manage the colors. And I just make sure that I match my uh, printer profile with with my display, which is Adobe RGB 1998. So as long as those two match, and I'm using the uh, Photoshop to manage the colors, it's going to um, give me the, the the colors that I'm sort of seeing, uh, and it's going to do it consistently. Um, I don't think I'm leaving anything out in the process. Uh, so if I did, sorry. But I don't think I did. So that's how I do my uh, prep my blue line pages to print. And um, if you have any questions, just give me a shout. I'll try to uh, give a video response or uh, drop a note, whatever. All right. Thanks. Hope this helped.